Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about TAM data in MVC. TAM data is a dictionary object to store data temporarily. It is used. It is a TAM data dictionary class type and instance property of the controller base class. TAM data is able to keep data for the duration of a HTTP request. In another words, it can keep live data between two consecutive HTTP requests. Let's see the example. Let's open Visual Studio. New project and select MVC application. Let's set, select that empty project and MVC. Basically, uh, you have already seen that uh, view back and view data. View back and view data is basically used for transfer data from controller to view. But in the use of a time data, you can pass from controller to controller. Just create one controller and write down that home. And create one view. So here you can see that how we can define the time data. Time data time data is the data dictionary. So it's a keep value pair value. Key value pair. So here we can write that key name. It's like a first name. Mm -hmm. we can write that first name. Mm -hmm. So here we can that second last name. Address. And same data can split in view. Can data just copy as it is. Make it there. Last name. Then the last one is the time address. Just trying to okay, so the next application. See here. Now you can see the test data value first name, last name, and address. Now we we'll create one more Excel method. Second index has index. This means second index. Now return view. We'll create one more. Our same data, same what actually that I used from here, same data I want to see in the another view. 
so same i will copy this thing and paste it here let's see it will come or not just run the application first it will should run that index then it will run that as index that should be that is a second index this is a home dot index okay home dot index this data is coming now we'll check that second index see there is no data because it's like that time data is have to keep data for the duration of http request in one another word it can keep live data between two consecutive http request so how we can preserve that data for second http request more thing when an object in a time data dictionary is read it will be marked for deletion at the end of the request just like if you have write something this one okay but and on the another another request you access it the value will be there but as soon as read it the value will be marked for deletion same thing we have already seen so how we can preserve for the next request just you have to use that keep method so you can write that keep method okay just one more, more times This is a home dot index method. Now we will check that home dot second index. So it will run that one. Same. See, we are getting that data. But again, if we will run the same one, that but data data is deleted. So it's deleted from the first request. Let's see once again. First request, it's preserved that one that time data, and same times it display and keep that one the data for the next second request. so if that's why if you use the second if you call the second index you can see the data for this one the same data is displaying here one more thing you can see let's delete that one from controller to go from just create one list list of string you can name list of string dot dot add model second record is view Control for same data. I want to see here. Just like it again, keep that list of string in another action method. Or assign that list dot list of string. Okay, same one and display in that second action method. Yeah, see here we are going to assign this one. And one more thing is that uh, time data casting is required. We'll see that here I'm we are getting data or not. Just run the application.
okay here we preserve the data in in the time data the list of strings is added into time data okay so we will check that uh, for this one the data is coming on because we didn't use that uh, we didn't read that value that list of string so it's coming home dot second index let's see data key on see the three records came model view controller because here we read that value the time data here will be uh, again if i create one more action method i want to see that value it will not be because once time you read the data is delete that is a third request okay same we are going to copy here and we check it's coming on okay this one the first request that is a home dot index one see just press f10 you can see that list of set is three value then here it's added into time data three records next we will check that it's it should display in the next consecutive request that as in this okay so here i have read read that one time data value me that that's means that in the again if i'll make a request for third index you will not get any data means data is deleted from here because here you already read this please here the, that that one is a third request just write down t now here you cannot see any data see it's a null because see from here you already read and here because once you read it then data is deleted Be because of that here data is not displaying so how you can preserve same thing here you can write that time data dot keep method so now if it's a keep then again data will be preserved for the need to request this one is the home dot index in this action method in the time data value is added the second one in the second request data read and it skip and the third request this t this we can refine okay now run it now you will see the data see but if, if you will run again that means data is deleted once you read the data is deleted for the time dot keep method it can preserve the value for the next request once again that in the next request you if you read the value then again data is deleted i hope it's clear thanks for watching